we've done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, thy power and glory forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The psalmist says in the book of Psalm chapter 150 verse 6 that let everything that has bread praise the Lord. Why don't you lift up your hands this morning and worship your baby? Worship him because he's worthy for all the things that he has done. Because it's your bread you do. Worship your maker. Hallelujah.
Everlasting Father, the one that was, the one that is, the one that will be forever. Oh, Father, we bless you this morning. Receive all praise and all honor. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. We say, Father, I have come into your presence one more time. Don't let me go the same way that I came. Please talk to the Lord. Don't let me go the same way that I came. Meet me, Lord, at the point of my need. Send the word into my soul. Touch me, Lord, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. 
May God touch you more than ever before. May God meet you at the point of your needs. And may your joy be full and overflowing. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Please take your seat. I have the real privilege and joy this morning to welcome uh, our mommy in the Lord. You have always been hearing me talk about promised land and my own very pastor. Uh, the wife is here. <laughs> pastor Elsie Otegbade, and she is truly more than just a pastor to us, but a family, a family, so to say. Uh, we grew up under them in, in promised land. And uh, like I always say, you know, Pastor Tegbade is irreplaceable in our lives. The same way Mommy Elsie is completely irreplaceable in our lives. So she's visiting with us this week, and I thought she cannot just come and go like that. She must minister to us. Uh, so please join me as you stand on your feet to just celebrate this woman of God. I should come just celebrate her. She might, as time may be different, but I'm sure you'll be so blessed. You will be really, really blessed. Welcome, man. God bless you, mommy. God bless you. God bless you, man. Is there someone that was carried here this morning? Is there someone here that received a phone call that your child has drowned in the pool? Is there someone that committed suicide as a result of life's challenges? If there is none, then begin to thank him. Bless him. Appreciate him. Give him glory. Give him honor. Give him praise for the great things he has done in your life, in my life, in this church. Bless his holy name. Makata lebrakaye. Egede lebranda lekeye. Zekede lekete lebrakataye. Mondoro bobo bobo bo. Thank you, everlasting Father. I will lift up my voice. I will joyfully sing. Not for what you have done for me, but for who you are. You are the
indeed this is our declaration this morning that you reign from eternity to eternity that you are worthy of our praise you are worthy of our worship it's because of you oh god that we are it is you that has clothed us with honor and with glory it is you that has sustained us you have upheld us you have preserved us father we are grateful accept our thanks in jesus name as we go into your word lord have your way holy spirit speak to us anoint our hearing anoint our hearts help us to receive your word with meekness let your word deliver this morning let it heal let it enlighten let it deliver and let your name alone be glorified we take authority over every demonic activity in the atmosphere ah makaye we paralyze <laughs> we terminate by the power in the name of jesus holy spirit have your way in jesus matchless name we have worship amen please be seated in his wonderful presence amen i want to thank my beloved brother and sister, they are family, like he said, to my husband and I. Very dear family, you know? The Bible talks about a friend that sticks closer than a brother. And really, in the house of God, God gives you people who are even closer than your own siblings. Do I have any weakness here? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now we have found in Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Bangwo, very dear family. Amen. And you are blessed to have them as your pastors. God has given you after their own, after his own hearts. You know, there are different people who are in ministry for different reasons. But I'm sure you will agree with me that they are in ministry because they love God because they want to serve God. They serve God with everything. Their substance, their life, their time, their everything. Let's give the Lord a round of applause for their lives. And for my husband and I, they are very dear to us. Like he said, the relationship spans almost 20 years and we are still going by the grace of God. And we will make heaven together in the name of Jesus. Amen. And so thank you so much, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you, ma. Thank you for love always. The Lord will continue to love you. And the Lord will continue to do exceeding things through you in Jesus' name. Your children will be greater than you. And for each one of you that have continued to lift up their hands, you will not lack support in Jesus' name. God bless you. Hallelujah. I hope I've not used half of my time. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. So this morning we're talking about thanksgiving. It says, the, the, the theme is thanksgiving triggers miracles. And our test we're taking from Psalm 118. Psalm 118 verse 1. I encourage us to read the whole passage when we get home. You know, I'm sure there's a word there for someone. Psalm 118 verse 1, we'll just take verse 1. It says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, because his mercy endureth forever. I took the liberty to check the meaning of thanksgiving in the Bible. And it says that thanksgiving means devotion, sacrifice, praise, and an offering. Many of us, when we talk about thanksgiving, we think it's just about money. No, it's not. It's everything combined. It's all encompassing. Devotion. If you are thankful to God, your life will be devoted to him. My life is devoted to him as a result of my gratitude to him. Amen? Amen. If you are thankful to him, you will live a life of sacrifice. If he says, don't fornicate, don't commit adultery, don't do this, don't do that, you will abstain from those things. 
you will consecrate yourself. Hallelujah. And then it means devotion, sacrifice, praise, and an offering. Praise is when you acknowledge his deeds. You know that it's not by your intellect that you are where you are. You know it's, be, it's not because you are strong that you have been able to achieve anything. It is because he has been with you. It is because he has been for you. It's because he has been by you. That's why you have been able to accomplish all that you have accomplished. There are many stronger than you. There are many more intelligent than you are. There are many that are, I mean, if you're looking at physical qualities, even beautiful, many are more beautiful. But you know what? God just chose. He chose you in the midst of everybody in the whole world. He picked you. And so shouldn't you be thankful to him? You know, like I started off by saying, a very young couple, we all know them. They got a call. They left eight, eight I'm sorry to say, but eight useless helps in the many of us have had children go to school they this express they go to school they play there are many that their children got to school one child mistakenly poked the eye with pencil and that child's eye is damaged forever i remember when we were still living here one day i was coming back from work a school bus had the canal with little children in it parents being called in their offices. Praise the Lord. But well, that has not been your portion this year, has it? That has not been my portion. Is it not worthy to give him thanksgiving on it? And then offering is the final part of this. So thanksgiving is devotion, sacrifice, praise, and offering. What is too much to give to this God? Is there anything too much to give him? Because the truth, we came empty. And when we are going, it doesn't matter how they bury us. We were told about a very wealthy guy somewhere. On the day of his funeral, he had, I think, 10, 10, um, what's the name of this luxury vehicle? No, me, I'm not interested in this thing, so I don't keep it in my head. Sorry? Not even Homer. Rolls Royce, the latest Rolls Royce, about 10 were packed. Unfortunately, they couldn't even put it inside the grave with him. They just display, showroom. He's dead, he's dead. He left it all behind. Ultimately, we all will leave it all behind. But what's the deposit you're making in heaven? Because that is what we speak after now, the deposit you have made. And so there are some people who don't come to church intentionally. And from today, begin to come intentionally. You know, there will always be time for offering. And every month, there will always be time for Thanksgiving offering. So two of them, with your ordinary offering and come with your Thanksgiving offering. You know, it shouldn't be in church. That you're feeling, oh, it's time for offering. Ah, what do I have inside here? Oh, it's time for offering. What do I have? And then you bring out one wretched looking, the worst of the notes, the one that has been annoying you throughout the week. That's the one you pick out from your Gucci bag and your Louis Vuitton bag and your, you know, you, you ladies, you understand. And then for the men, you have stepped out from a Jeep. Eh? And then offering time, you pick out, you know, there are some beggars that if you give them some money, they will throw it back at you. I was in the tube station, you know, somewhere abroad. We were commuting and this person was begging. And this young lady dropped coins. I'm telling you, I'm not lying. The beggar gathered the coins and threw it back at her. It shows you that even beggars, you know. Meanwhile, there are people who give God those kind of offerings. And God just looks at them. He smiles. If he was watching people dropping offering, 
that passage where he saw the widow who gave all, the Bible told us he was watching. So he's always watching. And he's always saying, your offering must be commensurate with his blessing upon your life. You cannot compare your offering with my offering. Or with your pastor's offering. Or with the cleaner or the gatesman. If you are giving the same offering the gatesman is giving, it means that, you know, you don't want to go anywhere. Hallelujah. But I'm sure there, is, there isn't such a person here in Jesus' name. And so, thanksgiving means devotion, sacrifice, praise, and an offering unto God. Thanksgiving is to glorify God as an act of worship. And so, giving thanks for all things as part of God's providence. Hallelujah. Some U.S. psychologists have found out that being thankful helps you bond in relationships. They say gratitude leads to better relationships. That makes sense. Because whether your spouse or your child or your friend or relative, when they've done something for you and you show gratitude, it encourages them to do more. Am I right? But if they do for you and you're like, is this all you can do? Can't you do better? Don't you know what your mates are doing? Ah, okay. It won't come like that too. There won't be the next one. But when you are a grateful person, no matter what anybody has done, no matter how little you are thankful, you will always get more. The same with God. Because we were all made in his likeness. I remember, you know, when we were still in one of the parishes, I blessed a lady with uh, a dress, okay? And it was a new dress. But, you know, I mean, maybe she was expecting the type I wear. I mean, I really don't know. But it was a dress. And, you know, when, when I even go shopping, when I'm shopping for my husband, my, it's in the same store I buy for my driver and whatever else. And so I gave her a dress. But the way she just looked at it and I'm like, oh, I made a mistake. I never tried it again. May that not be our portion in Jesus' name. There are some people that are like that with God. But I trust God that after today, we will change in Jesus' name. And so, it says gratitude leads to better relationships. And, you know, it says the, the explanation is actually connected to the fact that there is increased production of oxytocin, oxytocin hormones in our body, which are sometimes called bonding hormones. It says these bonding hormones, they foster calm and security in relationships. And so when you are thankful, you, you produce more of those oxytocin hormones, and that fosters calm and security in relationships. My husband and I have discovered that the general overseer of this mission, when he's praying, you know, in the, in the days when we used to pray with him, he would use over half of the time just thanking God. We are thanking God. We are blessing God. We are praising God for anything and everything. Then the last few minutes in making requests. And for years, that has been our style. But you see, it's not only thank you. I remember one time he was having a minister's meeting. Many years ago, he told us ministers in camp then that his offering were words of notes words i mean now he gives check or whatever you know nobody carries cash anymore but in those days before all these cards are not and all these things became um popular he says his offerings are in words so let's just imagine five thousand you know a pack of five thousand naira but i tr trust me it's more than that and that was then does this surprise you that the man is probably one of the wealthiest in Africa, not just Nigeria. Because God causes men to give him. You, nobody can ever outgive God. So if you are still miserly when it comes to giving God, you are sure changing yourself. And then it is now double tragedy when you are a Christian and you don't pay your tithes. 
or you pay your tithes with sense. You do some calculation. I remember when I first became a Christian, when I first gave my life, ah, I thought 10%, 10% is too much. Meanwhile, God says, mine is just 10%. You keep 90. But from that 10%, I will give tithes, I will give offering, I will give alms. From that same 10%, too, because that 90%, my problems are too many. It's not even enough. You see how the devil lies to us. But one day when I was down to nothing, zero as in zero, nothing, nothing. Holy Spirit said, oh, you finished it. The 90%. Oh, it finished. I thought it won't finish. And so I learned some lifelong lessons that God delivered me. Amen. And so perhaps there's somebody here that still needed to hear this. If you need to move forward financially, materially, make sure you are not stingy towards God. Your offering, your thanksgiving, your whatever, your tithes, make sure they are complete. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now very quickly, because I know this is the short service. If you, if you open your Bibles to Luke chapter 9 verse 6, we're not, going to open, we're not going to read it because of time. Now, this is a passage where God was about to feed a multitude. You know, Luke chapter 9, 16, Mark 6, 41, John 6, 3. Luke 9, 16, Mark 6, 41, and John 6, 3. Jesus had, you know... In one case, 4,000, another case, 5,000, just men, women and children were not counted, so you can imagine. And so he asked his disciples, how do we feed? He just asked them. He, he knew, he had an idea of what he would do. But he just asked, how do we feed? And they were like, ah, there's, where would we buy enough food to feed all of these people? And so what did Jesus do? Is there anything around? And so a young man had his meal two loaves and five fishes and he presented it to Jesus and what did Jesus do Jesus gave thanks he first gave thanks and as he gave thanks he began to distribute he did not look at what he was what was in his hand by faith he moved and began to distribute began to distribute and that meal fed over 4000 over 5000 because women and children were not counted and they had leftovers thanksgiving triggers miracles when you are a thankful person you will experience the miraculous praise the lord he he did not look at what was in his hand oftentimes the enemy makes us look at what is in our hands and what we begin to do is complain. We murmur. We tell as many people as are available to hear. Rather than being thankful for the little in your hand. It may be little, but it is God that blesses it. Haven't you heard of very wealthy people? In spite of their wealth, they still cannot get things together. In spite of their wealth. So it's not what is in your hands. It is God making things available as that when you need it. Amen? That's why for my husband, and I, we, we really don't care what is in the accounts. Because we know as that when needed, God moves, God shows up. There was a case of um, the, the executive director of Bed, Bath and Beyond. A retail um, chain store in, in the U.S. Big one. This guy was living... His apartment in New York is $18,500 a month. That's what he pays, a month. I'm telling you that so you can have an idea of his wealth. $18,500 a month. That's what he pays for his apartment in New York. But you know what? Only God knows what challenge or what problem he had that made him jump from the story building down and commit suicide. This happened a few months ago in the U.S. And you begin to wonder, he, he must have had for anybody to rent that kind of place and he's been living there for a while. So if you think it's because he's by so much money, think again. 
So whatever little is in your hands, thank him. Look around and count your blessings and thank him. As you do, you will experience the miraculous. May that be your portion in Jesus' name. The second point, you know, we will get from uh, Lazarus. John, John 11, verse 41 to 43. John 11, verse 41 to 43. Lazarus had died. He had been buried three days. And we all know, at that point, it's a hopeless situation. I'm not sure there's been any case of anybody dying three days and somebody raising. I mean, usually, maybe within a few hours, you know, maximum a day. But three days, his body has begun to decay. Amen? So that was a hopeless situation. That was a hopeless situation. But you know, when Jesus arrived... The Bible tells us that he gave thanks. He said, Father, I thank you because you always hear me. So what is that hopeless situation in your life? It's, begin to, it's, it's time to begin to thank him. Father, you have, he, you have heard me in times past. You have come through for me in times past. I thank you because I know that even this one is a little thing before you. I know that you will hear me. I know that you will answer me. I don't care that the year is coming to an end. There is still so many weeks, so many days. And I know that you are still the God of the 11th hour miracle. And so I thank you. I bless you. Thank you for life. Thank you for my husband. Thank you for my children. Thank you for my wife. Thank you that I'm well. I'm not hospitalized. I thank you. I bless you. Makata lebra shakaye. Ekede lebo shakaye. Rise up and begin to thank him. Rise up and begin to bless him. Makata lekete leke ye. Ah, makada reke ye. What is that problem in your life? What is that burden in your life? Makata leke ye. The good news is that God is ready to hear. Manda rekete leke ye. Manda ragada ye. Whatever prayer you have prayed and you are tired of praying, you have even stopped praying. Pick it up again and start asking him. But with thanksgiving, with praise, with adoration, he's getting ready to answer. Before the end of this year, you will experience the miraculous. As you begin to flow in thanksgiving, in praise and in adoration. Manda rekete lebro shakaye. Manda rekete lebro shakataya. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we give you praise. Only you are worthy, O oh God. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Father, Lord, we thank you for your word that has gone forth. We ask, Lord, that your word will find a resting place in our hearts and that you will give us grace to be doers and not just hearers. I take authority over every spirit of heaviness, every spirit of murmuring and complaining. Lord, I take authority over in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your spirit, O oh God, spirit of thanksgiving and gratitude, release over us, O oh God. Release over us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Help us to begin to remember the times that you have come through and to know that you remain faithful. Father, let that grace be released over your people in the name of Jesus. Lord, there is nothing that you cannot do. Nothing that is impossible with you. And so I join my faith with that of your children, O oh God. As they begin to come before you in thanksgiving, in adoration and in praise. As they have a mindset, a, a, you know, as they shift in their mindset. I ask, Lord, that the heavens will be opened over them. And that the answers to their prayers be released. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Thank you, King of Glory. In Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. Amen. Let us stretch forth our hands to Pastor and pray that God Almighty will perfect all that concerns her, that that word of life that has gone forth, God will multiply it and bless his people in the mighty name of Jesus. That God will renew our strength, will replenish her, and we back her up. Every word of blessing she has released, we back it up with signs and wonders following in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. You have heard that wonderful word, and God has ministered to you, that no matter it is what you are going through right now, you just want to surrender your life to Jesus. You want to thank him that you are still alive, and you want to say, Lord, here I offer my life unto you. I surrender my life unto you. Is there anyone here this morning? Please just come forward. Let's clap for them. If you, if you are here. Say, Pastor, pray with me. Pray for me. I want to surrender my life to Jesus. This opportunity may not come again. Just come, come. If you are here, if you are here, come forward. Come forward. You like to surrender your life to Jesus? I surrender. That's one way to be thankful to Him. That's one way to be thankful to Him. Anyone here this morning? I surrender. Pastor, pray for me. Pray with me. Come quickly, come quickly if you are there, come quickly. Father, we just want to thank you for your sons and your daughters. As many, Lord, that are already born again, Father, secure our salvation in the mighty name of Jesus. And those that are joining us online, anyone's already in their life, we ask that you accept in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Once again, let's clap for the Lord for that word of God. God bless you, man. God bless you, man. Praise the Lord. Thanksgiving triggers miracles, and um, one of the meaning of Thanksgiving that we we'll learn today is Thanksgiving is offering. It's time for us to give our tithe. Tithe is uh, ten percent of your income. For those that are working, ten percent of your gross income. For those that are business people, ten percent of your profit. Amen. For those that are watching us online or those that are listening to us, I read the tithe account. It's a Zenith Bank account. One zero one seven zero four six double three seven. I read it again. Zenith Bank. 101-704-6337, live gate account. So for those that have their tithes here, if you have your cash here, just look in front of you. There's um, the seat that is in front of you. There's a pouch there. Look for the envelope that is labeled tight, so you can put your tight inside the envelope. The ushers will pass the tight part round. While we rise up as the choir take us in the inn. <laughs> Thank you. 
Let us pray. Father, we thank you for an opportunity to give our tithe unto you. We ask that as we have paid our tithe unto you, that this tithe will trigger miracles for us in the name of Jesus. We say, as we give you our 10% faithfully, well, that you multiply the remaining 90% in our pockets in the name of Jesus. And Father, as we give our tithe unto you, Father, we will not give our money again to sicknesses, we will not give our money to diseases, we will not give our money to armed robbers, to kidnappers, to ritualists. We will not give our money necessarily to drugs and diseases in the mighty name of Jesus. You will bless the works of our hands. That this tithe that we have given today will be the least that we will ever give in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let he who is ready to give a sacrificial offering this morning rise and praise the Lord. It's offering time. It's offering time. Okay, so for the benefit of those worshiping with us for the first time, kindly check the pouch in front of the chair in front of you, at the back of the um, chair in front of you. Please pick your offering envelope and pack a sacrificial offering. And for those listening to us through audio channels, uh, we'll read the account details to you. Zenith Bank, Lifegate Parish, account number 10170463320. I take that again. Zenith Bank, Lifegate Parish, account number 10170463320. Shall we arise as Covenant Voices leaders? Hallelujah.
Father, we bless you. Daddy, we give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We say be that exalted in the name of Jesus. Daddy, we thank you, O Lord, for the opportunity to bring this lead to before you. Father, please accept it in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, for all those who are willing to give but are not able to this morning, Father, please look upon them with mercy, O Lord. Fill their band with mercy, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Daddy, by the reason of our offering this morning, O Lord, we decree, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, that it shall be well with us in the name of Jesus. Father, this week, O Lord, blessings upon blessings shall be our lot in the name of Jesus. Daddy, by the reason of our offering this morning, O Lord, gates, O Lord, shall be opened unto us. Open heaven shall be upon our finances in the name of Jesus. Daddy, by the reason of our offering this morning, O Lord, we shall not die but live to declare the glory of the Lord in the land of the living in the name of Jesus. Daddy, Lord, the legs that we have used to dance before you this morning, O Lord, will not be cultured with accident in the name of Jesus. Father, we decree, O Lord, that the body that we have used, O Lord, to dance before you, O Lord, that this body will not be buried abruptly in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, for everyone, O Lord, who have given, O Lord, sacrificially before you this morning, O Lord, Father, we pray, O Lord, that nobody will run around, elders scatter, O Lord, for ransom to pay kidnappers on their behalf in the name of Jesus. And so shall it be. For in Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Yes, we have some very, very special people in our midst today. Every one of us, we are special. That we have the most special among us. It's time to welcome our first timers. If today is your first time fellowshipping with us in this glorious assembly, please can you be upstanding so that we welcome you in the live gateway. First timers in our midst. Hallelujah. Please, let's give them a round of applause. Let's clap for them. Let's clap for them. Thank you for your boldness. Thank you. You are all welcome in Jesus' name. Even as you have come, you will not go empty in the mighty name of Jesus. So our pastor knows you will be coming. And he has prepared a special message for you. Even as you listen, the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. And it goes thus. Welcome home. We've been waiting for you. It's true because we believe that every person who comes into the circle of this special fellowship was sent by God himself. It is not by accident that we have the joy to express Christ's love to you with genuine heartfelt want. We are eager to know you. We are excited to share with you the marvelous ways God is working in our church. It won't take you long to discover that this is truly a family, rich in the relationships that matter most. Growing together, we worship, we serve, we laugh, we cry, we learn, and we reach out to our world with life-transforming truths. We reach out to you as well. Our doors are open. Our doors are open. Our hearts are open too. If you have been thinking, praying, searching, and hoping for a place to belong, we say again, welcome home. My sisters, my brothers, you are all welcome in God's presence. This is the house of God and it's your father's house. So feel free to worship with us at any time. And the Lord will meet you at your various points of needs in Jesus' name. Church, let's stretch forth our hands and let's pray for them. Begin to decree good things in their life. Begin to prophesy in their life. Let the almighty God that has ordered their steps into this glorious sanctuary see them to their various needs today. Even as they have heard the word that thanksgiving triggers miracle, they will Amen. in any way they have not been given a sacrificial offering and the Lord will shower them with lots of miracles and blessings in the mighty name of Jesus Father we thank you, we bless your holy name, blessed be your holy name Lord, for in Jesus mighty name we have prayed and so our ushers will give you a card please fill it correctly with your number and your address, be rest assured that before the weeks runs out we will get in touch with you Please sit down. Thank you. Praise the Lord. You can do better with that clap if it's for the Lord. If it is for the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you all. 
Let me just remind that uh, everyone to please wait for the second service. Today we have our uh, guest minister, our pastor, our sister, our mom, our all. Uh, so she will have more time, more time in the second service to truly minister all that God has put in her heart today. So please don't be in a hurry. Uh, let's, let's just wait for that second service. I'm sure you'll be mightily blessed in Jesus' name. Just a few reminders. Uh, this coming Friday, that will be the, we're organizing as a church a digital evangelism day. Digital evangelism day where we will all change our DP photos uh, to something to just encourage people to surrender their lives to God. So between now and then, we'll be sending you reminders, getting you prepared for Friday. And every one of us, we need to change on that Friday, we'll change our WhatsApp display photos. There are some uh, flyers that will be given to us to also send out just to minister to the world, to remember Jesus and surrender their lives to Christ. How many of us will do that for Jesus? You will do that for Jesus. So please get ready. Monday through Thursday, there will be more information that will send to you. And then on Friday, we all. So any, anyone in Life Gate Parish, if you check your WhatsApp display photo, what are we going to see? We will see just encouraging people to give their lives to Jesus. Let's clap for the evangelism department. Immediately after this first service, uh, the monthly prayer program for those believing God for life partners, uh, we hold in level one. Uh, I'm believing God for every one of you. You are of marriageable age. You desire to marry. Even before this year is over, that married proposal you shall receive in the mighty name of Jesus. So if you are one of those people, man or woman, immediately after this first service, please go to level one uh, for that prayer session. Your joy shall be full in Jesus' name. And also. first timers that joined Life Gate Party since July. That's a special uh, meeting with me and the pastors. Uh, we do this every few months. So if you join this church in the last five to six months from July, please wait behind for that special meeting with me and the pastors, the ministers. God will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. And uh, as well, please remember our usual uh, programs, uh, those that are wishing to see doctors and nurses, our health center will be opened immediately after second service as well on level one. The doctors, the nurses, the medical practitioners will be there for you. Our food bank will also be opened immediately after second service for those who are believing God for help in the area of feeding. May God Almighty himself take care of all of us in the mighty name of Jesus. And then if you need somebody to talk to, we know that these days are truly challenging times. You had pastor when he was giving testimony about somebody with all the money he had, all the businesses he had, he still jumped out of the window and killed himself. If only he had decided to speak to somebody. So if you are going through some challenges in your life, and you need somebody to talk to, please come see me, see any of the pastors, any of the ministers. Just share your burden, and God Almighty will make a way for you in Jesus' name. I say God will make a way for you in Jesus' name. Once again, please remember, Life Gate is a home for everyone. Come the way you are, and encounter Jesus yourself. Encounter Jesus yourself. It will touch you and it will make you joyful in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's rise on our feet as we take the song. I will lift up my eyes to the ears from whence comment my help. I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence comment my help. My help comes.
cry to God and say, Father, give me the heart of gratitude and the heart of thanksgiving. Go ahead and talk to God. Because as you have heard, thanksgiving triggers miracles. When you learn to appreciate God, when you learn to give thanks, miracles will follow. Father, give me the heart of gratitude. Give me the heart of thanksgiving. Talk to the Lord. It doesn't matter how much you have. It is the heart of gratitude, the heart of thanksgiving. Help me, Lord, to offer thanks unto you. Father, help me to be grateful unto you. Cry to God. The heart of gratitude. The heart of thanksgiving. Lord, release unto me that heart of gratitude, that heart of thanksgiving. Grant unto me, O God. Grant unto me, O God. In every situation of my life, help me to still be grateful. Help me to still give thanks unto you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. In the two examples she gave, we are going to turn it into prayers as well. In the first example, there was lack. There was no food. There were many people to eat, but the food was not enough. And like she said, Jesus gave thanks and the food multiplied. In other words, giving thanks brings multiplication. She also shared with us, in the case of Lazarus, dead, already in the grave. But Jesus gave thanks and the dead came back to life. In other words, giving thanks can turn hopelessness into hope. You are going to cry to God, Father, as I give thanks unto you, turn every hopelessness to hope in my life. Bring the miracle of multiplication. Cry to God, Lord, remember me. As I give thanks unto you, remember me. Why are you so remember me, O God? Cry to God yourself. You may want to be on your knees. You want to lie down. Just cry to God. Remember me, As I give thanks unto you, remember me, Father, please remember me. The blessing of multiplication. Oh, 
positive. As I give thanks unto you. lift up those hands unto the almighty God. You are here in the auditorium. You are joining us all over the world. As you offer gratitude and thanks unto almighty God, the God that remembered Lazarus in the grave, may God remember you too in the mighty name of Jesus. As you increase your thanksgiving, your gratitude to God, may God turn every hopelessness into hope in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. The God that triggered miracles even in the time of lack because Jesus gave thanks. As you offer more thanks unto God, more gratitude unto God, may God trigger the blessing of multiplication in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. And whatever it is you are believing God for, by reason of today's sermon, as you learn to give thanks even in your circumstance, may God Almighty make your joy full. And so shall it be. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. If you believe that, shout a loud hallelujah. God bless you, God bless you. Let's just uh, go straight to Sunday school as we get ready for the second service. Please do not be in a hurry to go. Do not be in a hurry to go. Let's all wait for the second service. We have our guest minister in the house. And then those believing God for a life partner.